Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the bag of tokens problem which is from lead code number 948. Uh, we will first try solving it by dynamic programming and then we will move towards the greedy solution. Now let's look at the problem statement. In this problem uh, you have to start with an initial power called power and an initial score of 0 and a bag of tokens given as an integer array in the tokens array and where each of the item is represented by token set i. Your goal is to maximize the total score by strategically playing these tokens. In one move, you can play an unplayed token in any of the two ways. So you can play it face up or face down. In face up, it says that if your current power is at least token set i, you may play a token set i and this will reduce your power by whatever is the value of token set i. So you can assume that it will be new power will be equals to power minus token set i. And uh, if your initial score was whatever, like you will be gaining one extra score after playing this hand. So if you are playing face up, then your score will increase by one, but your power will decrease by that token set i value. And this play is only possible if your power was greater than token set i. Similarly, if you are uh, playing face down, then you must have a score which is greater than zero, right? Because here your score will be decremented by one and uh, your power will be incremented by whatever is the value at token set i right so this is the phase down play the third thing is not mentioned the third thing is about you can uh, choose not to play anything you can choose not to play either face up or face down okay in this entire problem the ordering of the items is not important as it is not mentioned but you need to return the maximum possible score you can achieve after playing any number of tokens okay now let's look at their second example. In the second example, if you see, uh, you have tokens 200 and 100 and the power 150. Now if you uh, take the first hand which is uh, present at 200, that it in index 0, if your power was 150, uh, can you reduce your power by 200 and increase your score by 1? That is not possible, right? It is not possible for this 200 because this value is higher than the current existing power. Second option, can you reduce your score by 1 and increase your power? That is also not possible because the score is already 0. So you will choose not to play either face up or face down and just move on to the next option, right? So the next option is uh, 100. Now at 100, you can choose either to reduce the power by 100 and hence make it 50 and, and increase the score by 1. This is one way or another way is if your power was 150, then gain extra 100 power uh, which will make it 250. Is it possible? It's not possible because the score was already 0. So which option is giving you uh, the max value of score? Obviously this option where you choose to increase your score and that is how the answer is 1. Now let's look at another example and try to understand how we can solve it. Uh, let's say that the tokens uh, contain 200, 100 and 300 and let's assume that our initial power is 150. So initially the score will always start at 0. If you had understood the previous example explanation for each of the item we can have maximum 3 choices. And the first choice will be to not play at all. Like don't play face up or face down. You will choose not to play. Right. So I have taken a state in which let's assume that our score was 1 at any given point of time and our power was 300. In this case as well, you can choose that I will not play my hand. Okay, so if you don't play your hand, you will go on to the next item, which is let's assume 100 and our score and power will not be altered because we did not play either face up or face down. That is the first option. The second option is I want to increase my score and that is only possible if your current power is greater than the current item greater than equals to right. So in this case, yes, it is possible. So if you play your hand, uh, then uh, your score will increase by 1 and your power will be decremented by 200 and this is the state. Okay. The other option is if you just play your score and increase your power. That is also possible. So you should have a score greater than 0 and that is uh, true here. Okay. So your score will become 0 and power will be added. 200 will be added to 300 that will make it 500. If you try to draw a decision tree diagram you can definitely do it. And if you can make this decision tree diagram, then definitely you can solve it by dynamic programming. Here, uh, I had also given uh, what happens if the power is less than token set i. So in this case, you can choose 
either not to play or you can play your score if it is greater than zero otherwise there will be only one option okay so i think you can now figure it out you can make the decision tree diagram okay but i am not making it because the dynamic programming solution is not feasible for this question and let's see why in this problem if you try solving it by dynamic programming you will come across two variables which affect your answer that is two states and the first one is being position and the second one being power okay now if you look at position in the constraint it will say that tokens dot size is less than or equals to 10 to the power 3 hence the positions max value is 10 to the power 3 but in the problem it is saying that the power is less than or equals to 10 to the power 4 but what will happen is if you keep playing your uh, scores and keep increasing your power that that is also possible right so that will actually keep increasing your power and so if you try to find out what can be the max value of power what can happen in the worst case is every token is added to the power and the max value of every token is 10 to the power 4 and uh, they can occur 10 to the power 3 times and therefore if you add 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 3 times it becomes 10 to the power 7 so you can assume that the max power you can have is 10 to the power 7 right and if you have two states one with 10 to the power 3 another with 10 to the power 7 the total number of sub problems will be 10 to the power of 10 and we know that we always want to solve a problem below 10 to the power 8 in order to solve it within one second okay therefore even before jumping on to the dynamic programming solution just by seeing the constraint you can make it out that uh, this will not get accepted therefore if dynamic programming is not able to solve this problem generally we go for a greedy solution and let's try to understand why this will be a greedy solution uh, when you are spending money let's assume a general case where you are spending money you want the max value out of whatever you are spending money in let's say that if you are spending one score and you are gaining power of 100 and if you have an option that you can still uh, spend one score and get a power up by 200 which option is better definitely 200 is any time better right now the second thing is when you want to buy something then you want to buy the same item with the same quality with the minimum cost possible right and in the similar way if you want to buy power you want to spend less score for it okay so again the same logic goes right so what our goal here is uh, you want to maximize the power by spending minimum score or i can put it as maximize the score by spending minimum power and if you want to track uh, the max and the min value of the tokens because tokens will actually uh, give power right tokens value are actually added to increase the power if i want to track min and max then definitely it makes sense that whenever i am given the tokens array let's sort them you can sort in ascending or descending i have sorted it in ascending order so sorting uh, will actually help us get min max in just order of one time okay at any point of time you can get it and if uh, a single token cannot be used multiple times and still you want to track the min and max then you will have to use two pointers one moving from the left hand side left to right and another one moving from right to left so the left pointer will always point to the minimum value the minimum token which is not used and the right pointer will always point to the maximum value which is not used that is why we need two pointers okay now let's take this example and try to solve it our initial power given is 150 and the score given is 0 right now once the token was given i sorted it in ascending order and let's try to see the options now the first option is i will compare with the left value okay and as long as i can do the trade like i can actually increase the score and decrease my power then definitely i will keep on doing that so can i uh, increase my score here yes it is possible so make it one and decrease this to 50 because this value is 100 and move the left pointer to the right why did we move left pointer to the right because the minimum value which is not used is 300 now when i want to increase my score i want to decrease the least power that is why i compared with left and not with right now let's compare 50 with 300 right now 50 uh, cannot be used because 300 is larger if 50 cannot be used against the minimum value it can never be used against any item of the array so what i will do instead is i will try to spend my score and increase my power so that in future i can get more score but what is more feasible for me if i spend one score should i increase my power by 300 or by 400 or by 500 
definitely it makes sense that if you are spending the same amount of money you will you want the maximum value out of it so definitely i will look at the r pointer right pointer and i will spend my score make it zero and decrease this r pointer and add this 500 here so this uh, power becomes 550 when it becomes 550 again if you want to spend power and increase score then definitely it, it makes sense that uh, you compare with the left pointer yes it is possible so increase your score to one and this becomes 250 right and the left pointer is equals to the right pointer so here can you again increase your score it's not possible right so what you will do instead is spend this score make it zero and add 400 this becomes 650 and your right pointer comes to the left so you see that the left pointer is greater than right and that is where we stop okay now you may say that the answer is zero but the answer is not zero it was one so what you have to do is you have to track what is the max value across all the score updates so the answer will be equals to one year i'll show you in the code how i have done this now what if you had started with the initial power of 50 okay i mean there may be a case that you are moving from left to right and right to left and suddenly your power is exhausted your score is also exhausted the score is zero and you have very little power left then what will you do at this time at this point of time you cannot do anything and you have to break out so one such example is let's say your left pointer was in the beginning right pointer was at the end and your initial power was 50 with a score of zero okay in this scenario you cannot uh, i mean spend 100 because you already have only 50 and do you want to take 500 yes i want to take 500 but i do not have any score to spare so at this point if you cannot even gain any power or spend power then there will be no point uh, parsing for the other values because this was the most optimal option right and therefore at this point you have to break out we will see all these conditions in the code now once you have seen this obviously the sorting algorithm takes the highest time which is n log n i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one-on-one -on -one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in let's now look at the code in this code we are given the tokens array and the initial power we start with the first step was to sort the array and which we have done initially we will take the left and right pointer the left pointer will be pointing to the first item and we will move to the right and the right pointer will be at the last item which will move to the left so whenever we have to increase our score i will uh, take the token from the left side and subtract it from my power and if i want to spend my score in order to gain maximum power then i will be using the right pointer so this is the entire approach in this case uh, in the first step we will try to maximize my score uh, so whatever power we have left if we can spend this power and actually increase my score i'll keep on doing that greedily from the left side and if i do not have enough power to buy more tokens then i will break out of this loop and whatever score i have i will store it in my answer because this answer is actually tracking the maximum score and after that uh, we will like to increase our power so that next time we can again uh, come back and uh, spend our power in order to increase our score so there are conditions that our score must be greater than zero because if we do not have score we cannot actually uh, take more power okay and the left should be less than equals to right otherwise our loop is done so if we can increase our power we will otherwise if it's not possible then we will break out and this loop will continue okay and once we come out of the loop the maximum score will be tracked by the answer and we will return it as an answer so i hope you were able to understand this problem like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you